Dan Gibalisco here uh, with a view of the Long Wave Ranch in Cody, Wyoming, taken in February of 2013, uh, a few months before I acquired that 2.2 acre property. Now, as I make this video in June of 2014, I imagine what sort of uh, climate uh, Cody, Wyoming would have in the summer. I would imagine it could get quite hot occasionally and almost always very dry, which leads me to the topic of this video, an alternative to old-fashioned electrical air conditioning. And I say old-fashioned electrical air conditioning because these days there are better alternatives, such as the swamp cooler, also known as the evaporative cooler. And I believe that the, the trailer on that Long Wave Ranch property has a swamp cooler on its roof. The basic principle is similar to that by which a humidifier operates. The principle that when air passes through a wet filter, a wet sponge or something like that, some of the water in that sponge evaporates and when water evaporates it cools the air that passes through it so what you have here is a powerful fan inside of a box or something probably oh I'd say a, a foot or two tall a foot or two wide and a foot or two deep sitting on the roof of the property sucks air in through these filters which are wetted by little reservoirs of water and there's a water supply pipe to keep that reservoir full and by means of uh, absorption or what do you call that um, capillary action basically up through these filters it keeps these filters wet hot air and particularly if it's hot dry air will pass through here and rapidly evaporate that water the result is that it, the air will be cooled and then the squirrel cage fan, a squirrel cage fan is a particularly powerful and efficient form of fan, it blows air straight down into your living space and that's cooler air than you're likely to have in that living space. Not as cool as you would get with an electricity powered air conditioner, but plenty cool enough for dry environments where these swamp coolers or evaporative coolers are most effective. This design uh, will become increasingly popular I predict because the only electricity that is used is consumed by this fan and even a very powerful blower will only consume a couple of hundred watts powerful enough to cool the air in a substantial living space and the fact that this uh, thing is mounted on the ceiling of your living space because it's on the roof of your house uh, Well, the cool air will sink in the center of your room and spread out and you can get a pretty good result here in the Black Hills of South Dakota uh, I do not uh, foresee that we're likely to have much of a need for air conditioning or swamp cooling if this summer continues like it is. It's been in the 30s in the mornings here in the Black Hills. But we've had hot summers and they've always been dry. The really hot ones have been dry like you might expect in a desert environment like this here in Cody where it is a true desert. I believe they only get about 8 inches of rain per year. Uh, 8 inches of total melted precipitation per year. You can learn more about how these evaporative coolers work and other alternatives to conventional methods of using your appliances and getting from place to place and all of this. At, in my book, Alternative Energy Demystified 2nd Edition, I am providing a link in the description of this video to the Amazon.com page so you can go ahead and get that book. And then you'll learn not only the merits of conventional methods of doing things, which still do have merits, by the way, but the merits and practical aspects of such things as evaporative coolers. Stan Gibalisco signing off from, well, virtually the Long Wave Ranch in the deserts northeast of Cody, Wyoming. Until next time. 
Take care. So long.